Latest out of the Russia-Ukraine war and today foreign ministers from the two countries will meet for high-level talks. But analysts fear there's a low chance for a breakthrough. This comes after a horrific attack on a children's and maternity hospital in Maripol. Ukrainian officials say that it was a targeted attack by Russian warplanes. Officials say for the fifth straight day, attempts to evacuate trapped citizens in the city have failed. And while social media is giving us more and faster access to information out of Ukraine, it also means that the images and videos are just a click away for your children. So like so many things that parents have to deal with, you're wondering how exactly maybe should I talk with my children about what they're seeing on apps like TikTok or Instagram. Tanisha Cordell joining us live this morning with answers from a pediatric psychologist. Yes, guys, good morning. You know, and it's not easy for parents. There's no one-size-fits-all answer here, but the uh, pediatric psychologist we did speak to says it just all depends on your child. Helping kids process difficult subjects like war and other tragedies isn't easy and can even be traumatic to confront, but experts say it's important. And tips from United Nations Children's Fund and pediatric psychologist Dr. Vanessa Jensen are helping parents start those conversations. First things first, ask your kid what they know about what's going on and how they feel about it. But choose a good time and place so they're comfortable. Ask questions. If you ask, kids are a lot more likely to tell you. And it may take two or three times. It may take them saying nothing. Let it go for a while. It'll come back. Second, keep it calm and age appropriate. Use age appropriate language. Watch the reactions and be sensitive to any emotional signs or anxiety. I always remind parents that they know their children best or their child. So think about what your child's tolerance is for information. And third, spread compassion, not stigma. Conflict can bring about prejudice and discrimination against people or country. So try to avoid labels like bad people or evil. Encourage compassion instead. For example, sometimes when people get into really big disagreements, they do things to really try and hurt people. And that's what's happening there. And people are being hurt. But again, that's a long way away and you're safe here. Now, another thing Dr. Jensen recommends is modeling for your kid, you know, letting them see you taking time for yourself, healthy self-care, turning the TV off and putting devices away during meal times. She says all of this can help build stability amidst chaos. I'm Tanisha Cordell, News 5.